Millions of men and women depend directly on the winning of gold for their livelihood. And in South Africa... Workers were seen as something that can be exploited at all costs. 30 working days I was living in Africa. How many hours a week do you work? 45 per week. And you get five rands for that? Yes. These are the men that keep South Africa's economy alive. These black miners produce more than half of the world's total supply of gold. Mines are like sort of small concentration camps. It was an exposure to a horror. The most oppressive of South African life. Certain jobs were reserved for white women. Last year, over 800 miners were killed underground and a further 17,000 injured. The value of mine workers' lives, the value of black lives was forgotten. We wish there was a unit. We formed the NUM so that it can be the shield and the spear for mine workers. The NUM will grow into the fastest growing union in the world. Black workers had economic power, and they were thinking about how to use that power. We started talking politics. The political climate was fully charged. If necessary, we will use stronger measures, but they won't succeed. Mine workers, we had had enough of being controlled, exploited, pressed. The industry was shut down, and it was the biggest revolution. This was the ANC arriving on mine hostels. We had been directed to unite forces in the country towards the election. Two thirds of the Anglo mine hostels were not accessible to management. NUM was an extension of the unbanned uh, taking forward the struggle. The government has taken a firm decision to release Mr. Mandela unconditionally. Well, we have been fighting for the ANC to come back from exile, to come back and govern this country. Never and never again. After the 1994, there's probably a significant amount of NUM people in leadership positions. But there's less representation of women. We must empower and emancipate women in the mining industry. If this structure fails, we will want to education for every male worker. We are to ensure that the basic condition of employment favors workers. What transpired in the conversation that you had with the Minister of Police? We underestimated the anger of our members. That happened as the NUM was celebrating 30 years. The legacy of the past has transcended. It didn't end or begin at Marika.